Welcome back YouTube for another episode of DIY Amateur Hour. Today we're doing something a little different. As you can see here I have two Aero T50 staple guns. I got them both from my dad. Um, this one here with the electrical tape on it is considerably older but you can see they're both nearly identical. There are a few key differences that I'll point out here in a minute. Um, but the reason for making this video is that neither one of them work currently. So today's goal is to try and figure out what's wrong with them and see if we can make them work. So let's start off by comparing the two staple guns that were made at least 10 years apart from each other, maybe even more than that. We'll take a look at what's the same between them and what's different and we'll break them down and see what we got going on on the inside. So what we have here are two aero staple guns built for T50 staples. This one with the electrical tape on it, I know is quite a bit older than the other one. Um, my dad used both of them when he was putting up insulation on his house when he first built it. But as you can see, they're quite similar. There's very few differences between the two. There's just a quick overview. As you can see, these staple guns are dimensionally almost exactly the same. The only difference in sizes is really how far this handle comes up. But that might also be a consequence of wear and tear, so who knows. Really the only difference on the outside is this nut and bolt which holds the staple carrier in. On this older model, it's a flat blade with a nylon lock nut. Where on this one, it's just a regular nut and a Phillips head bolt, or screw technically, I guess. Now we'll break them both down. We'll take a look at the inside and see what we're working with here. I don't know if I had the time lapse running for that one, but as you might have seen, um, I put the staple retainer from the old, from the new staple gun, excuse me, in the old staple gun, and apparently the tolerances are just tight enough, or maybe just different enough between the two years that it's a challenge to get the new retainer in there, but also the Staples have a habit of flying out if you don't put that uh, retaining bolt in there. So, lesson learned on that one. We'll try it again here. I think just cleaning it up might have fixed it. We'll see. I'll put some staples in the workbench here. Not the end of the world. One, two. Maybe it was a combination of using the, the new staple retainer in the, in the old staple gun or spraying everything down with brake cleaner to get the junk off, who knows. But we'll see if we can get the second one running here. For those of you who don't know, I'll show you right here how the staple guns work. Obviously they feed along here until they get down to the end and when you squeeze on the handle you can see how that pin retracts in until you get the handle down all the way and then it releases just like that and as the as that pin retracts in the spring is pushing the staples down at the end and so when that pin gets up high enough the staple slides along the end of the gun there and when it gets up to the top that force is supposed to drive the staple down into whatever surface you're using and into whatever surface you're putting the staples into and just for kicks you can see how this one operates exactly the same So I did some messing around with these staple guns off camera. 
and the older one works regardless of which um, spring and staple retainer you use. Old and new, new and new, old and old, doesn't seem to matter. But the newer staple gun that in theory has less hours on it, fewer hours on it, doesn't seem to be working at all. It doesn't seem to be a pressure issue. It just doesn't seem to be loading staples properly. Um, and I don't think it's any fault of the retainer or the spring. I think it's an internal feed issue. So maybe I'll buy some retainer clip pliers and take these three clips off and take this thing apart and see what we're working with here. Um, but I don't have my hopes up too high and it's really not the end of the world. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode of DIY Amateur Hour. This is a project I had kicking around for a while. I wanted to see why these staple guns weren't working. Um, and I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride to see if I could teach you something. It turns out we got one that works and one that doesn't for the time being. So as always, if you have any tips, tricks, comments, or ideas of how I could have made this video better, or what you would like to see in future episodes, drop me a comment down below. And remember, you can always DIY.